What is up, guys? It's your girl, Nicole Taylor. So today, I'm going to be doing my, I guess like my natural hair routine, wash day routine, and I'm coming again looking real with no makeup because like I'm about to get in the shower and wash my hair after this so so these are the three products I usually use to detangle like a regular wig brush a wide tooth comb and a bottle with water and silicone mix so I just take my hair out yesterday I took my braids out and I just put oil on my hair I always like put a bunch of oil as like a pre cleaning thing because like I don't want my hair to get dried out so as if you have hard to manage hair you know that sectioning your hair is like the key when you're washing your hair when you styling it whatever so i section my hair in two parts to detangle i used to do four but it was taking too much time so i just section my hair into halves and just start on one side So yeah, make sure you got your sponges ready and handy. So I'm using, like I said, um, it's water and silicone mix. It doesn't have a lot of silicone mix, but I just put that in there because that silicone mix is like magic for my hair. It just makes it so easy to detangle and comb through. So I like using that. And I don't like drench my hair, but I do make it damp enough so that like I'm not struggling to comb through it. So yeah, even though it's already sections in half, I still grab smaller sections when I'm detangling. Like you're not just gonna go and just start trying to comb through that whole half. Like of course you're gonna go in with smaller sections, smaller areas of the hair. So just take your time with this part because you don't want to be pulling your hair out or like giving yourself a headache. Like you can see my face. Like you don't want to be giving yourself a headache. So just take your time and just really like comb through your hair. Yeah, I was like fixing it in the back because I felt like it wasn't even. But yeah, like I said, just take your time. Keep coming through. Like, it, the video is pretty self-explanatory. So, like, it's just really repetitive. And I know I'm done when I can literally, like, just comb through that side of my hair without it knotting up. So now I'm going to, when I'm done with that side, I'm going to just take the other side down and just repeat the same process. Spring it, section it out, and detangling it. It's just the same thing. Like I said, it's pretty repetitive, pretty self-explanatory. So y'all could just watch. I'm going to put some music for y'all. Maybe. So y'all see the afro? Like, get into it. Nah, I don't wear my hair in like an afro. I don't know. I just don't like how it looks on me and I would not go outside with my hair like that. Some people could pull it off, but I just feel like I don't pull it off. So, so I'm going to be using this face mask that I showed y'all in my skin routine video. It's the Aztec Clay Deep Cleansing Mask. And I mix it. Um, and I use this. Like, I'm just standing and mixing it up. Because you don't want any lumps. But I just use this because it really helps define your curls. So, I do two parts two parts powder, one part water, one part apple cider vinegar. And I do this because I don't... Like, I try not to shampoo my hair a lot. Because I feel like it just dries out my hair. But this, like, it really defines your curls. Like, you guys are going to see. Like, it defines your curls so well. And, like, it's cleansing. And it doesn't dry out your hair at all. I also, I forgot to mention, but I also mix in um, extra virgin olive oil. I usually use coconut oil, but I ran out. Because this um, face mask, it does dry. Like, as you, when you use it on your face, it dries. And you don't want it to dry out your hair. So, add some oil to it. And that's another reason why the night before, I always, like, drench my hair in oil and let that soak in. So, that it's protected when I do, like, a deep cleansing treatment. So, you're just going to, like... I just use the same process as this. I was dyeing my hair or like putting in a perm. We're not really going to get into the P word. But you know just putting it on there. Starting at the roots. Um, sectioning it and making sure that it's getting on. Every strand of hair. Making sure it's getting on all your hair. 
So make sure like if you make enough of this because like towards the end I started running out and I was being lazy. I didn't feel like going to make more. Like yeah, I was making a mess with this stuff. Like look, I'm always that's why I roll my sleeves up because I'm always dropping something. So yeah, just section your hair off and you can use a like an applicator brush, like a brush that you would apply hair dye with. But I feel like that's just unnecessary and it, the clay is kind of too thick for that. So I just use my hand, but if you, you know, you're being bougie, you don't want to get your hands dirty, then you can use whatever you want to use, just get it on your hair. So yeah, like I said, just make sure, it's really thick, and it does feel weird, like, look at how stiff it's going to be, look, look at that. But yeah, this really does work, like, it works really good. And like I said, the same reason I don't use this mask on my face every day, it really is a really, um... How do I avoid this? Like, it's a really strong product. So you do not need to use this every day. I probably do this treatment once a month. I probably do it. Depending on like. You just have to really listen to your hair. Look at it and just know what your hair needs. And just go with it. So yeah. Now I'm just going to go ahead and do all the other sections of my hair. Finish that up. make sure you're be like don't be cheap like i said that's why i said make sure you make enough because make sure you're applying a good amount like you really want your curls to be popping and you really want them to be defined so just make sure you're applying a good amount and you're not being cheap with it make sure you're getting it from the roots to the ends of every strand of your hair and then i like to twist it when i'm done you don't have to but i just twist it to keep it out the way so now I'm back and I finished all the sections of my hair. Like you see, I got some like too far down, but I finished putting it all over my hair. You see that back section is like not a lot because that's where I was running out. So I let it sit for about five minutes before I go and rinse it out in the shower. I just, I'm all up in y'all face. I know like I'm all up in the camera looking rough, but I just wanted to show y'all like it really like I didn't rinse it out yet and it's really starting to work. Like it really does define your curls. It really, it really works. Uh, right now, I'm just doing a length check, like you know, collarbone length or whatever. So I was rinsing out. I just rinsed out the mask in the shower, and I just wanted to show you guys like how my curls look, how my hair look. Like, like it's so defined. I wish I could. I would have put in a clip of like when I don't use it versus when I do use it. Cause when I don't use the mask, my curls do not come out this defined at all, and they actually last. Like, cause usually when I dry my hair, like it's done for the curls. So I, I just deep condition using the silicone mix. That's my favorite conditioner to use in my hair. Everyone has their own. So I still have the silicone mix in my hair at this time. And I just let it sit for about five minutes maybe. Or like, well, it depends. Because I was, like sometimes when I wash my hair in the sink, I do like five minutes. But when I'm in the shower, I put the deep conditioner on, put a shower cap on, and then that's when I'll shower my body. When I'm done with that, I'll rinse it out. So I'm going to show you guys after I rinse everything out my hair. So this is just after I rinse everything out my hair. Like, look at those curls. They look so bomb. Like, if you wanted to, you could pull out your gel and do a little wash and go. But like I said, I don't wear my hair in like an afro like that. So I'm just going to still style it up a little bit. So I'm using my comb just to like pick out the roots of my hair. And I'm going to use, usually I will let my hair air dry. But since I am going out today, I'm going somewhere, I don't have time for that. So I'm going to use a blow dryer. As you see, the um, comb for the blow dryer is right there on the bed. But I don't use it because if you start combing through, especially since I'm using it on high heat, it's, your hair is going to take that shape. So it's going to start getting straightened. So I use this the same way you would use a diffuser if you had that attachment. Like, do you guys see the smoke? Like, I really, like, blow dry my hair all hot, for real. But yeah, I'm just using that and just like using it in the same motion that I would use a diffuser just to really make sure your curls stay lit because you don't want them to disappear. So I like to dry my hair to like, it's like 75% dry. Like I don't dry it all the way because I feel like 
if you guys know me, like you know, I always wear my stream puff when I use when I wear my natural hair, and it's just easier to really make it laid and slick back when my hair is still damp and not completely dry. So that's just what I'm doing. And I like to stretch it and just like rub it on the roots just to get more stretch and more length. Cause you know, even though your curls is popping, the shrinkage is real. So I just like to kind of stretch my hair a little bit so I get a little more length out of it. I'm sorry, like, if my voice sounds weird, like, I'm still sick. I've been sick for, like, going on two weeks now, guys, so just bear with me. So, these are my two favorite edge controls. Uh, what is it called? I think it's the Star Factor. And then this is the other one. The white one is edge control that I just got from the dollar store, and it's so bomb. So, I'm just going to use that. I'm going to slick it everywhere, front, sides, back, just to slick my hair down. And this is what I was talking about, why I don't dry it completely, because having my hair still dim just help everything lay down a lot better. Y'all really want it. I need to get over this cold. So I use the white, um, the edge control, it's not white, it's clear, but the jar is white. I use the one from the dollar store in the back, because it's more thick, and I feel like it holds better. So, and you know, your kitchen really needs to be held up so i use that one in the back and i use the other one in the front and on the sides so yeah, now you see me using that one in the back and it's running out so i really gotta you know scoop and scrape i gotta go buy some more so i'm just taking this brush it's like a hard bristle brush and i'm just really brushing it you want it to be sleek and slick girl so Really brush it back, brush it up. Just, you know, keep brushing until it's as laid as you want it to be. And again, leaving my hair damp, leaving my hair damp helps with this part because it just helps it lay down. If it was dry, it wouldn't be laying down as neat. And I always have like a random piece of hair just hanging longer than the rest of the hair. I don't know why. So I'm taking my good old headband. This is a shirt, the egg piece from a shirt that I cut that I've been using. And I tie it in the back. And I just pull it, the one that I use, I just pull it tight. And then push it back a little bit. And then tighten it and push it back a little bit. Until I get it how I want. So that's just what I do. Sometimes I gotta do this like four or five times. Because it doesn't come out right. But practice makes perfect. Just keep going until your puff is how you want your puff to be. And when I tie the headband, I tie it in the back. I don't tie it in the front. Like, I tie it in the front sometimes, but, like, it gives me a headache. So I just, I just went ahead and tie it in the back. And then I take those pieces and tuck them under because we don't want them hanging down. So now I'm just using my wide tooth comb to kind of pick out my puff, pick out the fold, give it some more um, length, some more volume. Just to make it look better. And this is where you can really play with it. Get it to the shape that you want it. You know, whatever shape that you want. And now, right about now, we're looking like a fine apple. We're looking good. And, yeah. I just keep playing with it. So, I just get the shape that I like. So, now, I'm going to take back this. The dollar store has control. And I'm going to use it to, um lay my edges down i don't know what i was looking at like i'd be sometimes i just be i don't know where my head be at but i'm just gonna use a dot like what am i looking at so i didn't actually use a mirror to do this because i couldn't do it just looking in the camera so yeah i just you know you already know just swoop and swoop Everybody like their edges or their baby hairs, whatever you want to call it. Everybody likes it a different way. This is like the shape I like to go for. I do mine the same way all the time. I don't some people do it before they like do the puff, but this works for me. So just do it to the shape that you like, the shape that you want. And I also like to use a comb. Like I've done two brushes, a spoolie, the edge brushes, but I really just like the comb. Like it really just comes out the shape that I want. So yeah, this this part is just explanatory, but I think it's just like satisfying to watch. I love watching people lay the edges. So just yeah, just do it till you get the shape that you want. Take your time, you know, cause you know it gotta look good. Mm. 
Like, no, I'm gonna, like, I also do my sideburns. Like, I don't do nothing crazy. Like, some girls be making, like, the curl. But mine just don't lay down. Like, I always curl up at the end. So, I just lay it down. And I just let the end do whatever it want to do with itself. That's just how I do mine. If you guys know any other edge controls that really work, comment below. Because it's hard to find ones that work for me. So, these do work and hold my hair down. But just for some extra, you know, support backup, I use my got to be sprayed. I use my got to be um glue spray and I just spray that on there and this I don't gotta do my edges for the next three, four days. I set my blow dryer on high heat again and I just go in and dry that. You could literally just wait for it to dry, but I the blow dryer was already there, so why not use it? Yeah, like I said, if y'all know any other uh S controls that really work, comment and let me know because I'm always looking for more S controls. Like I've tried Gorilla Snot and like that didn't work for me. Jam doesn't work for me. So if y'all know the secrets, please put me on. So guys, I just went and put on my makeup. Like I just did like basic my eyebrows foundation. But that is it for this video. That's like my natural hair routine. That's how I just do my hair. Like you know, this is really the only style I be doing with my hair, just cause it's quick, it's easy, and it's just easy to do if you're in a rush. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe to your friends to subscribe. All that. And see you on my next video.